Hello and welcome. Today we have a 6 vs 6 in Cauldron. Um, I decided to cast the game because I think it's a small map, so my computer should be able to handle it. And uh, we have uh, two casters, Bronco Insanity and TA for life. So let's say that this one is Team 1. You have uh, Shaggy going uh, Aeon. Then Manufacturing UEF. Bronco Insanity is a Brannigan Aeon. Uh, Blue Ergo uh, <laughs> going Aeon. Ionic, Cybran and Total Tuna UEF. While on the South Team, Team 2. We got Mr. Gray in pink, in pink. Mio, Meow, <laughs> uh, Meow Aeon and uh, Mr. Gray UEF. Then uh, Hercules, uh, Hair Player Seraphim. Uh, Double D, Hair Player Seraphim. Uh, Gorton, Cybran. And TA UEF. So the top two guys are on this side, 14 2. So we'll see what happens. Let's speed it up. So on this map the cool thing is that there are these two plateaus. I never really played this map but it seems cool to have a sort of a base with some missile launcher here and be a shield and artillery, you know. Let it grow and that will also chuck some anti-air for protection. Doesn't look there it's uh, well there is mass around here, so it's worth going to the middle and reclaim all those rocks. Um, seems that there is not much reclaim around, mainly trees. Okay, we got the first plane out from Mercules, try to scout and see what's going on. Uh, say so two ACU, three ACU moving now for team one. Well, we got one, two, three, four. All the ACU are now moving for team two. No early bomber play, nothing like that. Small raid in the to on the top side with one mech marine. Yeah, nothing. Okay, now let's slow down and enjoy this game. So TF for life, uh, spamming like there is no tomorrow. <coughs> Sorry. I try to secure the, this area with this scatter maxis probably. And total tuna is definitely has definitely less unit on the ground at the moment. It's not spamming any more factories, just sitting on three factories. Uh, TF for life is similar. TF for life is pushing. Uh, can a mirror match UEF versus UEF? TF for life taking a bit more damage, but he managed to kill all the tun tuna tank. And uh, uh, Gordon is coming to support with some mantis. On the other side, uh, not much going on. Stalemate uh, is you in the middle reclaiming. So TF for life still pushing, 7,000 versus 9,000, but he has a bunch of tanks with him. And total tuna, uh, early tech 2, Mungus. One overcharge and from TA should be able to deal with it. Total tuna, 7,000, TA, 4,000. TA decided to push straight for the base, we got Mercy's out. So TA is gonna die. Boom, there was even one more Mercy, didn't have any anti-air at all. Uh, no hair coverage at all from the teammates, so one player down, 5 versus 6 now. Okay, what's happening in this side? I see you fight. Let's see if they have an upgrade. Uh, 12,000 for UEF doesn't look like, 11 for Aeon doesn't look like. So just ACU on ACU fight, 8,000, kinda even. Mr. Grey kinda wants to retreat, probably. Yes, uh, Shaggy managed to sort that point defense and give us uh, protection. But Mr. Grey managed to take this side, so a couple of maxi more for him. And now, of course, here you try to defend from Total Tuna, try to secure the reclaim, secure this extra base. So, not much air game at the moment. 
uh, seems that uh, team one has more planes out and now we start seeing Swiftwing. Uh, for team two we don't have uh, Aaron on her so it would be hard for them to counter the Swiftwing till they reach tech 3 yeah? But a really good job from uh, Zap Bronco to kill his fellow caster TA. So as you can see here there was an attempt to use this base and uh, set up some Medusas to do some damage but Sneak, Sneaky ACU managed to build one point defense here and now he's building a tech stupidity so that will wipe everything out only. Got the transport with the engineers going somewhere. The front. Yeah, the artillery can't outrange uh, the PD, so if that's gonna happen, huh? Something with tech on bomber. Okay, seems stalemate all around. There is a hair fight here, Swift being versus Tech 1. Let's see if uh, Bronco has managed to kill two F player uh, forces in uh, one fight. Yeah. So, Double D has no hair anymore now. Still using Tech 1 bomb, better to do something. And there is a random stealth field generator here, deceiving uh, the hill. On this side, uh, Tech 2 PD fights. Gorton is on an upgrade, probably he's gonna get his Tech 2. And here on top, uh, there is one PD. I don't think uh, those pillars uh, will have problem passing through that if they want to pass. Oh yeah, it's taking one pillar down, two pillars down, one assault boat down. So yeah, PD for the win. Okay, still turtle uh, all around and uh, try to tech. Top player in tech is uh, uh, Gorton. 85 mass, that's a lot because, of course, he has more uh, uh, access to more maxes than uh, his counterpart. And uh, yeah, then we got uh, Blue Ergo and Man of Faction and Double D around 60. So I'm not looking great for, tech for Team 2. <laughs> Stream of Tech 1 Bomber from uh, Blue Ergo. And now we have a push. Tech 2 unit mixed with Tech 1. Uh, Gorton had enough of this uh, Tech 2 PD creep and wants to end it. There are some Tech 2 units sent there from Total Tuna, but the overcharge uh, would be enough. Still, this bomber are doing some damage. On this side, uh, uh, Shaggy managed to get rid of this point defense and a couple of maxes, and they're battling on the side now since they are turtled up in the middle. But we have definitely a decent uh, mobile missile force that will has uh, the sh shaggy shield and uh, yeah, he has a tech two power on front, so that could be critical. And uh, Gorton uh, has to be afraid of uh, snipes, prevent mercy man. Yeah, and this uh, against Total Tuna that has 15,000 points. So yeah, managed to take out the fire base, but not much has done, and there are gunships on it. So 6,000, let's do that. 6,000. Uh, so the gunship are gone, and he has been left with uh, almost 6k health. Yeah, these two gunships are not going to do that much more. So. There was a good attempt, there was no flak in the mix, uh, in the um, land unit, but there were too many interceptors for those gunships. But now, tactic bomber. Boom. 
So really fast tech 3 for Burgo, but the tech 1 and the uh, 1 random flag managed to get rid of the bomber. But now he's dead by a TML. I think, yeah, this TML launched by Total Tuna managed to kill uh, Gorton. So now this game is over, but now I already watched the play and I want to see, I want to show you this bomber here. So with one bomb, you can destroy four Tech Maxes. And I want to show you eventually how many bomb it drops and how many kill it gets. This is the unit of the game. The four max is down. Seventeen kills. Got another one. Four max is down. Thirty-nine kills. Just going around. And the other bomb there is a racing uh, uh, Hercules uh, ACU. Bomber going back with 39 kills, seems like. Oh, actually, Total Tuna died. Or had you quit? Uh, no, Total Tuna, Hercules. I don't know. This bomber is still alive with 39 kills. I don't know what that was. Probably energy storages. Try double bomb, but 62 kill at the moment. Sixty-seven kill. Double bomb here, nice micro. Seventy-two kills. Still alive. Five vets. I don't know there was an explosion. Just going back. And we're gonna score an ACU kill, why not? Boom, 4000 points of damage. And we got this swarm of Tech 1 Bomber from uh, uh, Broker Insanity Gunship. Uh, he has a couple of Tech 1 anti air, and uh, yeah. It's not gonna survive. That's the hero. 73 kills, still rampaging. <laughs> no, well, of course, they don't have air anymore, and this game is over, but still, this bomber. Choosing his target. Bomb on the shield, not much done. Still there. Eighty-four kills. Still there, eighty-four kills. Well, that's all I give it all these bombers, the explosions. <laughs> T1 bomber spent trolling. This poor is you. Look at that. Dancing like a boss. Dance of death. Oh, I think the pile needs a coffee breaker. Actually, got a max. He's the guy. Well, hope you like this cast and uh, have fun.